Rolling Stones? Oh. <laughs> When I first moved to London from Australia in 1998, I, uh, I moved to keep my family together uh, because my wife at the time, she's now my ex-wife, but at the time she was my wife, she wanted to move back to Europe. She was from Denmark, but she didn't want to go back to Denmark, so she wanted to live in England. And so I said, okay, so we sold up our house in Australia, lost a lot of money on it, and, um, and I moved to a country where nobody knew me. <laughs> but good fortune was on my side because, <clears throat> because my friend Martin Taylor, a great jazz player from Scotland, um, uh, Martin uh, had come from Australia many years before and I had helped him out in my country. And so he had shown a video of me playing to Bill Wyman, the bass player uh, from the Rolling Stones. And Bill had a, uh, an album project he was working on with, with his band, The Rhythm Kings. And he rang me and he said, uh, this is how Bill talks. You ready? He says, hello, this is Bill. Can you come in and play on uh, this track for me? Just like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's really a wonderful guy and his kids love him and they crawl all over him like an ant's nest. But, uh, you know. Anyway, that's Bill. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, as a producer, it was wonderful working with him because I get in there and I'm trying to, you know, do the right thing, do the best job that I possibly can, you know. And I said, and what sort of thing do you want me to do in this track, Bill? And he just looked at me and he said, just don't play all over it. That, that's it. I said, okay, great. <laughs> so I just played what I thought was musically correct, and he liked it. <laughs> but the best part of that first day was, um, uh, after he asked me to come in the studio, so I got up really early the next morning and got the train into central London and found my way to Chelsea. And I went to the studio and rang the buzzer, and the door opened, and there stood George Harrison. And I, I nearly went weak in the knee. Well, in fact, I did go weak in the knee. Um, and... Um, but George had been playing on the track as well, and uh, it was uh, one of my one of my heroes right there in front of me. He didn't look real real well, unfortunately. So I'd like to dedicate this first song to him because it's one of the great songs that he's written. Well, we're going to do a little montage of some Beatles tunes for you now.
So just imagine you're at the piano and you're doing this part here with your right hand. And now here comes your left. <laughs> 